According to data collected by the ATF, U.S. International Trade Commission data, firearms manufacturers and the annual firearms manufacturing and exportation report, modern sporting rifles like the AR-15 and AK-47 styled rifles are flying off the shelves. Since 2020, over 2,798,000 modern sporting rifles were produced or imported. Since 1990, the data indicates a significant increase year over year of modern sporting rifle production and or import into America, resulting in approximately 24.5 million in circulation to date. Interestingly, 1994 showed us a significant rate of increase in production due to the 94 so-called assault weapons ban. 2020 showed us another boost in production and sales due to the nationwide left-wing riots that resulted in the burning down of buildings, assaulting of police officers, and billions of dollars in damage. NSSF President and CEO Joe Bartosi said, the firearm industry responds to market demand and this shows that during the elevated period of firearm sales that began in 2020, this particular style of rifle is the top choice for law-abiding citizens for hunting, recreational shooting, and self-defense. So it would seem Democrats are the best gun salespeople in the world. This may explain why they're also working overtime to ban them. So what's a good communist lawmaker to do when they see their policies having the opposite effect of their intentions? Well, double down, of course, because reversing course on policies makes too much logical sense. So while the Democrat-led Congress increases the incentive of modern sporting rifle production to over 24 million, Joe Biden demands another so-called assault weapons ban with the new Democrat-driven H.R. 1808. In an attempt to remove from the hands of Americans the very rifles they encourage the production of through their failed policies, the political left is attempting to take another bite at the rotten apple of gun control. Now, never mind the fact that the first so-called assault weapons ban in 1994 did nothing to stop or even slow violence in America. That's why it sunsetted 10 years later. The proposed list of guns to be banned is extensive. There's a link to that list in this full article. In a sane world, banning something you're simultaneously causing an increased production of would be laughable. So you have to ask yourself, does the left enjoy wasting time and money on constitution-violating laws, or are they just incapable of seeing the world the way real Americans see it? Left-wing policies are conducive to gun sales because they instill fear in one form or another, often fear of personal safety due to the lack of physical ownership of guns and fear of the reduced ability to purchase firearms in the future due to restrictive gun policies are the driving force behind sales and production increases. So while Democrats work very hard to create policies that ultimately increase rifle production sales, they have to work twice as hard to push policies that reduce the number of rifles in America. They need to push the anti-gun fear campaign to keep their anti-gunners on board, and they need to push gun control to prevent their political opposition from having the empowerment the Second Amendment affords. Like most things they do, this too seems very ineffective and counterproductive to their agenda. That's what happens when unconstitutional policies are the driving force of your ideology. So would AR-15 style rifles be as popular today as they are, if not for the gun grabbers' incessant attempts at banning them? The irony here is, the more Democrats push for gun restrictions that affect modern sporting rifles, the more modern sporting rifles show up in the hands of American citizens forcing manufacturers to produce them at an increased rate year over year just to keep up pace with the demand. A couple things are true. Democrats are saving firearm manufacturers a boatload of marketing and advertising cash, and they're getting an overwhelmingly negative response to their policies by real Americans. I'm Dan Wass, and this has been another Ammo Land News Second Amendment Update. Tell us what you think in the comments below and share this with your family and friends to help support Amaland News, America's oldest Second Amendment news outlet.